Today we're talking about assigning the value of one variable to another. After a value is assigned to a variable using the assignment operator, you can assign the value of that variable to another variable using the assignment operator. Here's our example. So the above declares a my var variable with no value, then assigns it to the value of 5, which is here. Next, a variable named my num is declared again with no value. Then the contents of my var, which is 5, is assigned to the variable my num. Now my num also has the value of 5. So here all we're saying is that the my num variable is now going to store whatever value was inside of the my var variable or whatever value the my var variable was pointing at. And I think something to note is that we've simply made a copy of whatever value was inside of my var, but these two variables have no real relationship with each other. And I'll explain a little bit more later what that means, but first let's go to the assignment. Okay, so our task is to assign the contents of A to variable B. So here we've declared variable A, and then we have pointed it at the value of seven, and then we've simply declared a variable B. So now we want B to have the value of seven, and A should be assigned to B with the assignment operator. So we can do this by writing B assignment operator A. So let's console out our B, and here we can see that it now has the value of seven. And if we run our test, we can see we completed the challenge. I want to note again that B has now made a copy of the value that was inside of A, but B is not referencing A directly. So next we could say A is A plus one. And this would mean that we're just adding one to the value of A. So now if we console log A again, we can see that A has become eight. But consoling B, we can see that B remained as seven. And that is because B took a copy of whatever value was in A right here and it stored that copy, but whatever else happens to A will not affect our B variable. So if we get rid of this console and then we just console log B again, we can see that it remains as seven. Okay, that's it for today. I'll see you in the next video.